Okay, a number of people have asked me about printing from Lightroom, so I thought I'd just record this very short little tutorial as to how I do it. So we've got an image here which has been sharpened for print, um, which is a different method of sharpening than for projected images, but that's the subject of another tutorial maybe. But here's the image and it's back in Lightroom. So I do all my printing from Lightroom. So here we are, here's the print sharpened version. Um, and we're in the develop module at the moment, as you can see at the top. So if we go to the print module, just by clicking print across the top. And I'm going to show you now the settings that you need to ensure are in place um, in Lightroom. So the first thing is, if you look down the right hand side, um, you will see uh, a number of uh, boxes to tick. So the first thing is, uh, have that one ticked, rotate to fit. The next thing is that you want your cell size set. This is the size um, of the print. And if you follow my uh, guidelines, if you like, then the finished print will end up be 384 by 264. And the reason for that is that fits perfectly in a pre-cut mount uh, with an 8mm border all the way around the edge, which looks quite nice. Um, if you go down then, the rest of it, it's quite irrelevant, this, this is just the guidelines. Uh, nothing to do here, nothing to do here. This one you need ticked, print resolution, and find out the, the what's called the native resolution of your printer. That's the resolution that the printer best prints at. Mine's an Epson uh, SureColor P800 printer. And the native resolution for that is 360 uh, dots per inch. And then here's the first important little box here, color management. So it's really important that we don't let either Lightroom try and manage the colors of the print or the printer try and manage the colors of the print. Both will try and do it. Both have got software installed and they will interpret this blue here um, this dark blue or this blue here uh, or this yellow and that either Lightroom or the printer will interpret that yellow or blue and print it as hit on the paper as it thinks it should look. Now the problem is that you've got both of them trying to do it and if, if you didn't disable either of them they'd both be trying to do it and you end up in a right mess. Um, but ideally, ideally you don't want either of them doing it because what you want is the paper profile doing it and I'll explain what I mean by that and this is the biggest cause of confusion and uh, in printing and indeed poor results in printing the color management so here we go and if you look here first thing is just just to say um, have it set to perceptual instead of relative um, there's debate as to which is the best but um, I stand on the shoulder of uh, people, Derek Dorr, who's a master printer uh, in, in the Nemp area, he told me to stick to perceptual and I've always done that. So here's the really important bit and this is the paper profile. And if I click this, can you see here there's a whole heap of profiles. Now I use Permajet papers and they provide a profile for each of their papers. So what you see here is uh, gold silk, Portrait White, Titanium, Distinction, Royal Gloss. These are all names of their papers. And they provide these profiles. And what's happening here is, if you load this profile, then this profile will control the colour of the printer, the colour that the printer prints. And that's really important because each of the papers will print this blue in a slightly different way. You get a slightly different result depending on the paper. So Permajet have gone to the trouble to make sure that the blue that you see on your monitor, assuming your monitor has been calibrated, and that's of course important, use something like Color Monkey to make sure that your monitor is calibrated so that you really are looking at blue and not, not some variant of blue. But Permajet have gone to the trouble to make sure that if you use this profile, then it will print that blue exactly as that blue 
appears on your monitor and exactly as it should be. So that's really critical. So you can download all these profiles from the Permajet side um, and it's very easy. There's instructions then how to load them into your computer. It's really easy and they'll all appear like this here. If you really want to go to town, what you do is you print off a test sheet on the paper in question. You send it on your printer. You send it off to Permajet and they will then send you a profile which is specific to your printer. So you can see I've done that for the five colours I use, the five papers I use the most. Gold, silk, portrait, white, titanium, distinction, royal gloss um, are the five papers I use the most. So I've gone to the trouble to print a test sheet on that paper, send it to Permajet. They've scanned it and colour profiled it and sent it back to me. So now I have a profile which is absolutely specific to my printer and my setup. You don't need to go to that extent. The ones that are on the Permajet website are fine. But let's take it as read that you've downloaded the paper profiles and they're now in your computer. And so all you do is you select the profile according to the paper you're going to use. I'm using Gold Silk in this case, um, which is my paper of choice for colour prints. Um, and this is quite important. Can you see ESG here? I'm going to explain to you that what that means in a minute and it's actually Epsom semi gloss um, but I'll explain that in a minute but we're going to select that and bang it's in that's all you need to do down this side so to recap what we've told down this side in Lightroom we've told Lightroom the size to print it the resolution to print it at and we've told it to use the profile to, de to, to determine the colours to use the profile which has been supplied to us by Permajet. Now, the only other place you need to go is to come across to this side and page set up. Click that and up opens another box. And where you want to go now is properties. Click properties and another box comes up. Okay, here are the bits that you are important. Um, I don't change any of this. This, do you remember I said that we'd got ESG? Epsom semi gloss, so you pick semi gloss there because these are the are the paper settings that Epsom want to use for particular types of paper. So you've got to put something in. So Permajet have gone to the trouble to tell you the paper that is most close to, in my case, um, gold silk, and it's photo paper semi gloss. I just click that and that's it. A different, if I was over here now and I've got a different profile, I don't think it will come up now. No, it won't because I've got this, this one. Oh, in fact, I'll show you. So if we shut those down, if I was to pick a different profile, so let's pick Distinction, which is my paper of choice for printing black and white. Now you'll see it's changed to Distinction down here. And can you see against Distinction, it's EP Glossy, Epson glossy. So let's leave it set at that. Go back to where I was showing you. Properties. And now I need to change this to Epsom glossy. Photo paper, photo paper glossy. That's all I need to do. The other important place is here. And this is again, is this is the Epsom's control. This is the Epsom um, software. And you're going to tell Epsom to not control the colour. So that very important that this is set to off. It could be Epsom, Adobe, da, 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 da. You want off. Because if you remember what I said, it's the paper profile that's going to control the colour that's printed by the printer. You want it set to colour and print quality is quality. Um, I've always had it set to that. Um, I think you could go maybe one look, max quality, but I've always found it'll, it'll obviously determine how long a print takes, and I've always found that to be absolutely fine. So the only other thing to adjust now is the source. Are you feeding it from your sheet feeder? That goes in the top. My printer will do roll paper, and if it's a fine art board, a thicker board, a thicker paper, then it would be fed from the front. But in this case, it's being fed from the sheet, and here's where I determine the size, and it's A3. Um, there you go, look, A3.
there you go, so all the different circuits, A4, you'd use A4, and that's it. So then you just go OK, OK, and then hit print. If you follow these steps, number one, profile your monitor to make sure that the colours you are seeing on your monitor are exactly the right colour of blue or red. Number two, send for the or download or send for the paper profiles from the paper supplier of your choice. And number three, use Lightroom to control your printing and set it up in the way I've just shown you. Then I guarantee to you 100% every time you do a print, it will print exactly as you have got it on the monitor. So none of these, oh, it's printing too dark or it's printing too light or the reds are too dark or the blues are too, or you're too yellowy. You don't get any of that. You get a 100% success rate every single time. Uh, and as an example of that, I recently, uh, for, a, for a particular project, printed out 25 prints that I'd never printed before. I'd just used them as PDIs before as projected images. And all I did was follow the steps that I've told you, hit print, and every single one came out 100% correct. So there you go, a very quick tutorial on how to print from Lightroom. Um, if anything's not clear, don't hesitate to contact me by email, davidtkeep at gmail.com. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.